Let's take a look at a water level controller. I have a tank of water and as the water uh, drains out of the tank and it drains below this uh, uh, B probe here, I want to pump to start and I want to pump water into the tank and water level rises up to this A uh, probe here, I want to pump to stop, okay? So it's going to start on this probe and stop on that probe there. Now we're going to use a 555 timer, but we're not going to use any timing function on that. We're just using a timer because it has all the components we need to make a nice level controller, okay? It's got a voltage divider, it's got a couple comparators, and it's got a flip-flop in it, okay? So let's start with the, the voltage divider. Uh, it's three resistors, all the same value. I have 5K there. That's not really where the 55 got its name from, but anyway, I have it at 5K. And at this point here, you're going to have two-thirds of VCC, which is 12 volts here. So that means we're going to have 8 volts on here. And at this point here, we're going to have... Uh, uh, one third of VCC, so we're going to have four volts on there. Okay, so this uh, this comparator here, uh, pin six is tied to the threshold, so I'm going to call that the threshold comparator, and this one here, pin two is tied to the trigger, so I'm going to call this the uh, the trigger comparator. So, how these comparators work is if the uh, you have more voltage on the the plus side than on the negative sign here, the uh, the comparator is going to go high. The output will go high on there. Okay, now. It's not plus, you know, positive voltage and negative voltage. It just denotes a difference in voltage on there, you know. So, if the uh, the plus side is is greater than the 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 minus sign here, then the output is goes high on the uh, on the comparator. Okay. So on the threshold comparator, is if the uh, positive becomes higher, then the output's going to go high, and that's going to go over to this the uh, RS flip flop. And the R is going to reset the output to low. Okay, it's going to turn it turn it off. Okay, and then on this the tr the uh, trigger, if the uh, if the plus sign is higher than greater voltage than the negative sign here, then the uh, it's going to set the the output's going to go high, and it's going to turn this uh, the S is going to set the output on the compare on the uh, flip flop to high. Okay, and it's going to turn this. Uh, uh, transistor on and this LED is going to come on and then down here we have a uh, relay and a relay will come on too okay so that's how that's going to work now as it sits here if there's no water in the tank there's not going to be any voltage on the B probe here it comes up and it goes to the threshold and it goes to the trigger so it's just sitting out there in the air there's no voltage on there so we have 8 volts on the uh, minus sign of the threshold and zero volts on the, the positive sign so this is going to be off here but down here we have zero volts on the the minus sign of the trigger but we do have four volts on the positive so the four volts is going to uh, turn this uh, uh, comparator on it's going to go high it's going to go over to the this and it's going to set the output of the flip-flop high okay that's going to turn our uh, uh, transistor on and then our, our LED is going to turn on and our uh, relay is going to turn on and start pumping water into the tank, okay? Now, when this is this is on, okay, we have voltage coming here and uh, this, this C probe here comes up and ties to the top of the uh, 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 um, transistor here. But it goes to ground, okay? So C is still going to be zero volts on here, okay? Because it goes right to ground here, okay? So we still have zero volts there, and we have, and if the water rises up here, we still have zero volts on B, zero volts on here, and it's going to keep this output high here and keep the pump running, okay? Now, when the water level rises up to A here, okay? And A is just tied right to the 12 volts, okay? When it rises up to there, then it's going to short between A and B here. B is going to get comes over here and it goes to the threshold and it goes to the trigger so we're going to have 12 volts on the uh, the positive side up here and we're going to have uh, 12 volts on the uh, the not minus sign down here okay so this one's going to be off we're going to have higher voltage on the positive side up here than the negative so this is going to go high it's going to reset the flip-flop to to go low okay so the flip-flop is going to go low the uh, the transistor is going to turn off. Okay. Now we need to maintain 12 volts on this B as a water level 
drops out of here, okay? So in order to do that, we're getting our voltage through the LED and over here to C, okay? This is off. It doesn't go to ground anymore. So our voltage is going through here and actually going through the, uh, the coil on the relay too. But there's enough voltage coming through here to keep C high at 12 volts. Now, the reason it's, it works is that the, um, you know, we're going from C to, to B here, right? To keep our 12 volts on here. Uh, to keep the pump off, right? So, it uh, these comparators don't draw any current, okay? No current flows into them. You know, maybe a couple, you know, microamps or something. But yeah, theoretically, nothing will flow into them. So, this voltage can come through here, goes down to B to C, and maintains voltage on here. But there's no load on here. So, there's not going to be any current flowing through the, uh, the LED, just some voltage, okay? And through the coil. It's not going to pull the coil in. So this is going to maintain our voltage on B, and it's going to keep the the threshold uh, output high, and it's going to keep this uh, flip flop off, okay. Until the water level drops below B, that's going to be dangling out in the air again. No voltage on B now. When there's no voltage on B, then this uh, trigger pin is going to be zero, and we're going to have our five four volts on the positive here. And that's going to go to the set, and it's going to set this thing high again. So it sets it high. It turns the LED on, turns the pump on, starts pumping water back into the system, okay? So, and then this is going to be off, and it's going to wait until the uh, water level rises up to A. When it rises up to A, it's going to put their, tw you know, 12 volts back on the, the threshold and on the trigger here, and that's going to uh, set the output off. It's going to turn the output off. When that happens, C is going to go live again, 12 volts, to maintain our voltage on this uh, this pin here to keep it off, okay, until we, we drop power on there. So that's how it's going to work, and I have it set up here, and I have a probe here, and let me see some water here. And then I have our voltage here. Can you see that? I'll tilt that up a little bit. Okay. Now, I turn the voltage on. We have uh, probes out of the water. The LED is on. That means we're pumping water into the uh, uh, tank here, okay? And as that water rises up, we have the bottom probe in there. We have, uh, when we get up to the top probe here, there we go. Now we have 12 volts. The LED turns off, and we're good, okay? Now, this comes out of the, the water here. We still have our voltage on there. We had nine volts. All we needed to be above eight volts. Uh, it's a little bit less going through the LED in that, but uh, it still maintains the voltage on the uh, the threshold uh, to keep it off. Okay, so the pump's not running now, and the water's just draining out of the tank. And then when it comes up to there, it passes the the last probe there. Pump turns back on and starts pumping water back in. And then when the water level rises up to top it goes on and then when it goes back to that it drops down a ways because of the uh, resistance through the uh, uh, LED in that but uh, all we need to be is above our, our 8 volts you know to uh, maintain that uh, off so that works good and then we uh, pump will stop and start and so that uh, that works good with the uh, the 555 timer so uh, yeah, that's all there is to it and it works good uh, thank you